Now, actually, I've become very interested in this, and I think that secularization is correct. I think that modern societies do corrode religion, and I think religion, if you look at these, the facts more closely and critically, you can see evidence of this, even in the United States. Now, the big problem with the start view, with the anti-secularization view, the problem with the secularization view is the United States of America. The big problem with the anti-secularization view is the rest of the industrialized world. Is Europe, Japan, South Korea, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Uruguay, anywhere where there is modern life and modern industry, religion has declined and is declining. Um, every now and then someone will come along with some apparent exceptions. I occasionally see something about Britain and it will say there's been a resurgence of this or that kind of religion in Britain. Believe you me, there has been a resurgence of Islam in Britain because of Muslim immigrants and there has been a resurgence of Pentecostalism in Britain among West Indian immigrants and that's it. The ordinary Brit has no more interest in church than he has in flying on a broomstick. <laughs> it's as dead as can be. Uh, now, th there is a broader area that you can't get away from here, and I'm not going to go into it, but I'll just mention it. And that is the, the perspective of those who worry that the poor of the third world are going to flood into the advanced industrial countries and overwhelm what we call Western civilization and replace it with something new and horrible that might be Islamo-fascism or something even worse. Um, I'm not going to go there tonight, but uh, let me say in principle that could happen, but for various reasons I don't think it will happen just like that. Now let's come back to these, uh, this evidence of the United States, the religi religiosity of the United States. It's amazing, but Gallup started doing that poll about church attendance in 1939. It took a long time before someone pointed out that people might not be telling the strict literal truth no. when asked about uh, what they were doing over the past week. Yeah. Um, it wasn't until really uh, the 1980s that people seriously began to say, what does this really mean that 41% say they've been to church in the last week? So, what they did straight away was they tried asking different questions, like, we're do on a Monday morning, we're doing a survey into chemical contamination, so could you please list the places you've visited in the past 24 hours? Um, or, here's a list of 20 places that you might have visited in the last week, there'll be 20 places, and number 18 would be church. Please mark any that apply to you. Now, immediately when you ask the question in those ways, you get a huge drop in the number of people who say they were at the church in the last week. Um, so some sociologists went into one county in Ohio, and they scouted out every church in, in that county. And they lay in wait outside the church, and they counted the people going in. Um, and then they did a, a survey have you been to church in the last week? And the result of operations like this was to find that in the United States, when you do a survey and you ask people if they've been to church in the last week, the exaggeration is about 100%. So, um, if 40% of people uh, say that they've been to church in the last week, what it means is 20% of people now, Stark and his, uh, his, his colleagues immediately came back on this sort of evidence and said, yeah, but that's always been true. People have always told lies about going to church. Um, however, it, however, it does make you think about this in a different way when you realize that going to church once a week is a very minimal kind of commitment to Christianity. Someone who can't do that, what can they do? Um, and it, going to church once a week is distinctly a minority pursuit in our society. 
you know, um, it's it doesn't it's not up there with watching Seinfeld or something. I mean, it's you know, it's it's a, it's pretty it's a pretty uh, uh, it's definitely uh, you know one in five of adults uh, are in church in any particular week, um, and of course that's the average for the country. Much higher in the South and Midwest much lower in the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic, and the West Coast. So that's inconclusive as regards secularization, but it, it gives you pause before you start throwing secularization theory out of the window. <coughs>